you know, here you are, students at the university, and, you know, there's a bunch of things that you're supposed to be doing here, right? One of them, of course, is learning basic facts and understanding basic principles and relationships as taught to you by experts who practice in the field of their study. And that's really important and really useful, but the other thing you're supposed to be doing is how to do that stuff yourselves. Uh, learning how to learn. How am I going to do something that I have never done before? How am I going to gather information in order to do this thing well? How am I going to structure my activities or my actions in order to maximize my chance of learning the most in the shortest period of time in a situation that I've never been in before? It's heated up and then poured out in a very large scale lava flow experiment of a kind that's being done only here at Syracuse University. Nowhere else in the world is anything on the scale being done with molten uh, material like this. Uh, we do these experiments for many different reasons, to understand how lava behaves uh, for basic scientific purposes. And in this case, you can see we made a very distinctively shaped sheet-like lava flow. So uh, that's one of the forms that lava takes in nature on the bottom of the ocean. Uh, on Mars, many other places, and we want to understand what are the conditions that make, for example, a simple sheet as opposed to a more narrow, channelized flow, or these sort of lumpy, inflated flows that we make sometimes as well. So, playing with stuff, doing things with stuff, but not just to noodle around, but actually say, hmm, I'm starting with no knowledge, I'm going to play with this stuff, I'm going to manipulate this material, I'm going to write down what I see, and then I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to modify what I do based on what I learned previously. Right? That's what I think scholarship in action actually means. Right? It's not just scholarship in action is I went to class early, or I got a 98 on a test. It's I've learned how to pick up information, manipulate it so that I can gather more information faster next time, so that I can do things that I didn't know how to do before.